Rodimus, look who's back. Yeah, good to have you back, Springo. Well, don't let your enthusiasm overwhelm you. Sorry. I've been thinking about the Quintessons, who they are, why they treat us as enemies. From what I saw back on that asteroid, I think the answer may be in the Matrix, in the memories of the ancient Autobot leaders. So just get blasted again and almost die. Then you can enter the Matrix and find out for sure. He's only kidding. But tell him you're only kidding. He knows, R.C. He's not as dumb as he looks. Come on, let the boy cogitate if he wants. He won't do anything rash, will you, Rod? Where am I? Is this the Matrix? Rodimus Prime, you have embarked on a journey into Cybertron's distant past. Prepare to look into the face of your creator. Eons ago, Cybertron was a factory built by the Quintessons to manufacture robots. There were two product lines, military hardware and consumer goods. These two product lines were the lineal ancestors of the Decepticons and the Autobots. In time, the Quintessons endowed their products with a simulated intelligence. Now, the machines could manufacture themselves. And before long, they grew too lazy and greedy to bother even with that. There were simpler ways to wring performance out of their slaves. Quintesson simply recycled it on the spot. The Quintessons also used the robots to entertain them. Machine was pitted against machine in gladiatorial combat. Some of us, however, found this pointless combat repellent and sought to put a stop to it. We failed. But the seeds of revolt had been planted and would one day yield a terrible harvest. What the Quintessons failed to grasp was that their robots had developed emotions that knew and felt the difference between freedom and slavery. And that oversight sealed their fate. For a time, the robots lived in harmony. But this did not last. The former consumer goods, who called themselves Autobots, sought a peaceful existence, while the military hardware wanted conquest. And they got their way. For centuries, they tyrannized the Autobots. Knowing we could never defeat the Decepticons with firepower, we turned to stealth and invented the art of transforming. But in time, the Decepticons also learned how to transform. Thus, one fateful night, far below the city, Megatron was born. The Matrix was passed to Alpha Trion, 
the oldest of Autobots, who kept it safely hidden for many years, until the next Autobot leader appeared, a gentle robot known as Orion Pax, who was fated to become Optimus Prime. And so began the third Cybertronian War, which rages to this day. And the Quintessons are our creators. Through all these centuries, they have waited for the proper moment to strike, to reclaim the planet that we Transformers took from them. And now they're going for the gusto, right? Do not forget what you've learned of our past, Rodimus. From its lessons, the future is forged. Are you crazy? Why'd you short-circuit yourself? Wake up, you... you moron! It was the only way into the Matrix. I was wrong. He is as dumb as he looks. Springer! No more jokes, Springer. Cybertron's in deadly danger. We're heading back there. Now. Yes, sir, Mr. Leader, sir.